Well, I ended up getting another truck that needs some TLC, but it's definitely a lot nicer inside and out than my F-250 was. The headliner's in good condition. It does have a crack now on the windshield. We got an aftermarket radio, which is a Sony, and does it works but I don't get any sound out of it at 249,000 miles on it that's fine you don't gotta worry about half a million miles got brand new tires nice rims 33 12 and a half 20s and I think the rims are 11 and a half <clears throat> got new headlights these these are not new of course got the typical dodge door squeak oh it didn't make the noise this time but you can see what's causing it there's a roller bearing there that's completely cooked oh there it goes uh, let's see let's give her a start Is dead. Well, we got a fix for that. Let me go get the charge box. Well, it's in the process of going through a typical Dodge moment here. I'm just kidding. That's because it's got HIDs in it and it's uh, low on voltage. It's not even showing on the meter in here, but you see there, 249,413 miles. I may end up going ahead and changing the battery out of it because it's saying recondition. Put it on 200 amp start and it only gets up to 11 volts and then stops. Okay, I lied. Okay, now it's going up to 11 volts. There, it's at 11 volts. Oh, there's 11.1. Maybe it'll get it up high enough to be able to actually turn it on. You're supposed to stay alive over here. We either got an electrical problem or just a dead cell in the battery. Or dead tip them. Well, looks like we'll pick this video up in a few minutes. Well, batteries just don't last like they used to. That's from 09 of 20. This is 11 of 22. That's a Walmart battery. This is a glass mat battery from AutoZone. of course and get all these out of here you know I don't smoke anymore stop smoking June the 1st last cigarette ever had definitely don't want the temptation of having cigarette butts you know as a matter of fact I'm just gonna put it back there because I don't need it in here anyways simply because it won't remount 
is borking. I don't know what they've done here. This runs through the cigarette lighter. Under the seat. And somewhere in this cobbled mess, what is this? Man, that is a massive iPhone cable. Where does that go? You know, you're supposed to cut your wires to length, not just put them all in. Well, that's definitely the iPhone cable. Why don't they get it tucked in through there like that? Oh, I see, because it connects to the back of the radio. Hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Whoever did this might be a little challenged. There is a few rips in the seats. That's okay, that's fine. As long as it's not on metal and has some cushion for the butt, that's okay. The back seat belts are a little twisted up, but that's an easy fix. I'll fix those another time, not right now. And to flip this right here and then flip this piece right here, that way it goes in the right direction and orientation. The rest of the vehicle works good, except for all of the brakes that I have to replace. And I have a coolant leak under here somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where. I smell it, but I don't see it. It does have the 4.7 liter V8. It has plenty of power. Man, I almost cod checked myself here. Yeah, see, a couple days ago, this was up here. So it's definitely got a leak somewhere. I just don't know where yet. After I get the brakes and stuff done, I'll start dealing with everything else and record it and post along the way. I've got the headlights already here. I think I may wait until after the brakes are done to change those out and get rid of those crappy HIDs. I hate HIDs. And we'll put some dual lights in. It has the mini light bar on it and the halos sitting up there with a stunned dog keep you posted